Hello, welcome back to Intuit, Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for being here. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for returning. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome. Glad to see you've made it. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates, leave the rest for someone else who does, okay? The entire reading may not resonate with you. Gender is also fluid over here. So if I'm talking about a he, I could also be talking about a she. All right? This could be past, present, or future energy. This could be clarity, a validation for other intuitives. Okay? So let's get right into it. Get an energy check and get the message out for you. Thank you guys for your subscribes, your likes. Hopefully you do so if you haven't by the end of the read. All right. The entire reading may not resonate with you, so let me take what does, okay? I do use profanity over here because over here. It's giving you a hands up. So if that's not something you okay with, feel some type of way about, I may not be the reader for you, okay? First card out. Karmic lover of theirs fighting to be a third party, at least. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This could be a karmic lover of yours that you walked away from, ended out cycles with. Or this could be a karmic lover of somebody that you were attached to that you were in a connection with or involved with in some way, this could be a ex, you know, a lover of theirs. This could be their karmic lover um, of theirs that's fighting to at least be a third party. So this is somebody that don't care about being a third party. So if this is somebody that put you in a third party, you walked away, whether it was known or unbeknownst to you, just intuitively, you know, paid attention to the signs or understood the assignment. Either way, this person that they, you know, may have chosen over you or failed to involve you in knowing about or something like that, this person don't care about knowing about you. Whatever it whatever goes with the tears, I feel like this is an energy vampire. Okay. But I do feel like this is somebody that's very insecure. I would say territorial, but this, I'm not getting that. This is somebody that will bend over backwards for somebody until they realize this person never gave a damn about them for real anyway. But it's a thing of them getting what they want out of the deal, even if it's using the people that they connected to. So you do have to be careful. Like, not if a person playing you, but the people they are playing you with. Because they pull on your energy as well. Okay? Especially if they're still dealing with them like this person was. So, even if you walked away from this person over, you know, feeling as though this person had options, had other, you know, people they were entertaining, for some of you they were, definitely. Um, but I feel like this is the reason why somebody, you know, made a lot of bad choices too, because they, in a South Node energy, you knew a lot of people, had a lot of people already dealing with them the way they were. So why change when somebody, you know, will accompany or uh, uphold your behavior, you know, especially when there's is something that they, in like this pick me energy. And they, it's like this person could want to move forward, but it's like this person that they moving forward, the fact that they want to move forward, go away in something this person don't mind them being with somebody else. The point is, the person they want or anybody they want, this person will tolerate being with them too. So they could be bisexual. Okay, so take a high resonate. Next card, take things slow. Can write in reverse.
And somebody could, you know, want to rush things with you. Don't feel that way. Don't allow yourself to feel rushed in any way. Especially if this person, you know, was wanting to take things slow in the past or something like that, or no, they were too slow. Because I feel like somebody either had too much time in their hand or somebody just felt like, you know, something would never end anyway. Especially if they felt like You were rushing something. Because I feel like in the past, somebody felt like they were being rushed. Like something, you know, may have needed to be on your timeline. Like somebody needed to, felt like you wanted something your way. Because something didn't go your way, you walked away or something like that. And I don't feel like that's the case. But I feel like it is for somebody that is used to being the one controlling things. No matter how they do it. Whether it's in running some type of game. You know, um, listening to some outside bad advice or something like that. Some outdated views of how they feel like this may have worked on somebody in the past. Things like that. But I feel like this is what caused you know, a rift between somebody for them to feel like, you know, you just did something or made decisions based on you not getting your way. But I feel like this is a thing where it was just about, you know, them taking things slow, but I feel like somebody went too damn slow. But I feel like when it comes to taking things slow, it's something you're not against. That's why I'm getting that. Like, whatever it is about taking things slow, it's not something. Either, even if it was a thing in the past where you, you know, rushed something or something like that, it's like, or if somebody else did, it's a thing of you not knowing, you knowing not to do that now. Like, you know to take things slow. You know you don't have to rush or feel like you're being rushed into something. Especially with somebody coming back around, like Christopher can be significant. First middle of last. Because I feel like somebody took things slow in the past. Like I said, something was too slow. And I feel like somebody going to want to, you know, come rush in and want to rush something. I don't know if it's the cop block or what, but we're going to see. Female screwed.
jealous family member plotting on I think this came right in another reading. Um, and this could be why somebody want to stick around, don't mind being a third party. this jealous family member is yours but it's like somebody uh it's like somebody trying to i don't know if they working with somebody to like set somebody up or like to yeah it's like somebody working with somebody to set somebody up or like trying to, uh, I don't know if it's like a provoke kind of thing or like some, because I feel like somebody trying to get somebody, you know, cause somebody a setback. I don't know if it's financially or if it's like with their freedom or something like that, like trying to get them locked up or something, or it's just like trying to get them um, caught up in something. It's like a setup. I don't know if it's like something a family member think like are coming off to somebody like. Because I feel like somebody working with somebody, I don't know if it's this person's karmic level working with a, a family member of theirs, but they doing it to like set this person up. Like, like if they trying to get it towards you and like manipulate, you know, how you see something or how something goes between you and another person. Um, Cause it's like somebody trying to pretend like they okay, you know, with, you know, somebody going toward this person that's like, somebody want to be kept in a loop. Even if it means like a family member, like, trying to set this person up in a way or set you up in a way to where something come towards you unexpectedly, like catch you off guard and um, it, you know, causes you to have to stay in your ground or something like that or it causes you some type of, it's meant to cause you some type of harm. Even if it's that this person's family member, it's like somebody in your family working with somebody to like provoke you like to an altercation or something like that. Or it's like trying to involve you in something you don't know something about. But it's like the way they do it, it's like by the time you get presented with it or it comes to your attention, it's like I already started brewing like some bullshit like it already done kind of almost like a wildfire, like it kind of already done already start getting out of hand. So it's like too much to try to sort through, understand, or 
you know, rectify, get some kind of understanding out of in enough, in like, enough time. Yeah, especially if this is something like where somebody want to tell you, you like, you got to hurry up and do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, for take things slow to come out in reverse. It's like somebody want to rush in and, like, try to make you feel rushed in something. Like, yeah, but you got to hurry up and do this. You got to hurry up and, you know, get in touch with this Like, you got to hurry up and, you know, get, you know, go here. Or, like... Being invited to something, it's like somebody like rushing somebody, you know, to either get somebody to go or like say yes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like somebody either want to, you know, try to intervene on something by way of like showing up at the same time, but like act like they didn't know the other person was going to be there or that person was going to have this person with them or something like that. Like, well, I was invited to. I ain't know you was going to bring nobody or that, I ain't know you had, you know, they was going to be here or something like that. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like how something, you and another person end up in the same room, but it's like a family member invited this person, but a masculine invited somebody else. Like, they family member invited somebody and this person invited you. It's like that. It's like, that's what I'm getting. It's like, somebody invited you, but then whoever this person is, they don't care nothing about being in a third party. It's like, a family member invited them. But it's like, the minute this masculine see this person somewhere you, you guys are at, even if it's a family gathering, it's like, what the fuck you doing here? Like, who told you to, like, so-and-so told me to come. They invited me, like, you know, just because we don't talk don't mean, you know... I can't, you know, they, I can't be around them or talk to them. Like, they ain't do nothing to me. That's between you and them. Like, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Like, that's what I'm getting. Because I feel like somebody in is an energy vampire. I feel like somebody is, like, somebody that pulls from somebody by any means necessary. Like, something may not go too much like this person wanted to unless this person was using this masculine or a masculine was using a feminine that was connected to you, divine masculine, when it comes to how they were able to partake in your goodness, okay? And this person is like somebody standing in the gap between goodness. It's like they are a portal. But it's like if I can pull from that person because they keep, you know, being with this person and shit, things didn't go bad for us until this person walked away from them. Like, they done walked away from people in the past, or they done had people walk away from them and them other people. But it's like, this person does it for them. So, it's like, as long as they together, like, shit, they going to they gonna take off. But it's like, the chemistry is there, but it's like, somebody know, like, yeah, I can't, I see what it's like over here, you know, and this can't, this ain't working out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm through with this. Like, even if it's something that somebody was into at one time with all these third parties, or, you know, just having hookups and flings and stuff like that, no commitment involved, no strings attached, this person ain't trying to be that way. I don't know if it's because they're getting older, they just didn't outgrew the lifestyle. But it's a thing of somebody now, like, wanting to put down something, and it's like a family member done got, you know, negatively involved in a connection that somebody walking away from all because they are family member, you know, that, you know, may have some similar traits, some, you know, missing missingness about they self, you know, and they may have been, you know, a family member that, you know, just want to see this person, you know, not do so well either low key. Like somebody got like a karmic ass family member not just jealous but they karmic as hell just like this lover they was with like somebody is on the same damn page next card they know it's their fault divine feminine divine masculine whether it's this person towards you hmm. 
whether it's this person towards you, divine masculine, divine feminine, or it's the person that somebody from your past is walking away from. Whether it's dealing with these two individuals, that person, you know, that puts you in a third party with somebody that don't care about being in a third party, this person, they know whatever's going on at this current moment, present time, is their fault. Like, I feel like somebody thought that this was the way to go or this would be something they could settle into and, oh, you know, like, shit. I mean, at least I ain't got to worry about being committed. I ain't got to worry about this. I ain't got to worry about, you know, dealing with that. But it's a thing of somebody ain't got the person that they really want to be with either when it's when it's time to sit their ass down somewhere. They ain't got that person they want. And that person they thought they would have, they don't. They don't. And it's a thing of them, you know, knowing that it's because they made you in the past feel like you wasn't enough. Like they just have to have all these other options, this attention, you know, like that was the thing for them. Like they needed to be, you know, in their boss energy that way. Like this is how they wanted to show up. Like, you know, everybody want me. Who don't? You know what I'm saying? Next card, all I want and need is you. Somebody's just a damn scrub anyway. So, it really was about the fact that either this plotting ass family member benefiting off the, you know, family member this way by getting this person to, you know, helping this person mooch off of somebody. Like, yeah, girl, you know, he worked like this. Like, he'll work a hog. Like, I know he'll get this for you. If you do this and do that, I know he'll, you know, just tell him, you know, and that way I can get some from you. Or, you know, just tell him you want it or something like that. But it's, child, it's this definitely some scrub shit. It's definitely that because I feel like these are this is a family member and somebody, uh, mm-mm. It's like somebody, family member, works with their ex-lover on bullshit a lot. Like, they come together and plot on his ass a lot. Whoever this masculine is, or vice versa, take a high risk. And it could be a feminine that, you know, is working with a, you know, a, um, a divine masculine, you know, sister. You know what I'm saying? It could be your brother working with, you know, a past person's, you know, ex-lover or something like that. But it's a thing of them coming together. You know, especially if, like, you know, Divine Feminine has, like, a brother or sister that may have met, you know, your past person's person at some point. And it's like they hit it off. Like they may have accidentally, you know, found out, you know, who this person of yours of interest moved on to. But it's a thing of like a sibling of yours could have, you know, ended up, you know, finding out who they were, looked them up or, you know, saw that, you know, you and this person don't talk no more by way of however they did that. Um... Because this is a jealous family member, so if they plotting, they also spying and scheming and shit. So at the end of the day, they may not have even, you know, told you that they were interested in who this person moved on to, but they looked into it. They looked it up, you know, wanted to be nosy just off the fact that you, you know, got cheated on or you got played or, you know, something ended up putting you in a third party. But it was something they was glad, you know, didn't care too much about for real. I ain't gonna say they was glad about it, but I can't. I am because I do feel like they feel like that. You know, I mean, when it comes to something good coming in for you, it gets under this person's skin anyway, whoever it is. So, like, if it's a sibling and they knew your past person moved on to somebody else or wanted to see eventually over time who, even if you're not talking to this family member like that, so take it how it resonates. But it's like somebody just using it as an example because it's like vice versa. Just flip the roles. Somebody got close to somebody or they knew about that past person of yours, lover. Or whoever they chose over you, put you in a third party with. But it's like they click with this person or they realize they both got something in common. You. They both don't like you. You know, but they'll deal with you if they have too long as they getting something out of it. 
That's that's just how it is. Okay, monetary stuff, superficial. But it's like child, this shit weird as fuck. Like, but it happens. That's what I'm getting. But this person may have in the past made you feel like you wasn't enough. Like, especially if they felt like you needed to or wanted you to ignore the the signs and you know the flag the red flags about the fact that somebody you know made you feel like they put you in the third party like they juggling you okay all i all i want and need is you even if that person did not make you feel like that in the past next card she found something of yours Something this person still got of yours that they done found. What did I fucking say? Fake ass sister. Told you. I can't make that shit up. Like, I'm telling you what I saw. Like, somebody got a fake ass sister. And now when you want to come off as like they fake. But they jealous as fuck. Like somebody jealous as fuck that somebody, you know, got somebody that really, you know, would not be on some bullshit. Like somebody, the real deal. But I feel like somebody jealous ass sister, fake ass sister sitting up here plotting on them. Whether it's my divine feminine or my divine masculine. You got a fake ass sister out here. Like... Partnering with you, you know, with you. Hmm. Somebody sleeping with the enemy. And at one point, they may have thought the person that walked away from them or the person that you walked away from, you know, was, you know, so bad. The person they went toward was even worse. Because this person is working with a jealous ass family member or sibling. For some of you, it's a brother, too. Like I said, for some of you, it's a brother. It's like a brother is... Like, working with somebody ex-lover to, like, plot against you and shit. Like, I'm a, you know... I'm going to let you know if they, if they you know, come to the party. I'm going to let you know if they pull up, you know, with them and stuff like that. And then you just pull up. You be like this. You be like that. You said, I got you and this and that. I'm telling you, bro. Somebody on the bullshit. And this is the season for it. Trust me. This is the season. But this also is the year of exposure. So, I mean, people can play their hand foolishly if they want to, but... You know, what's done in the dark is coming to the light this year. And some people, you know, don't need to make no damn New Year's resolution. They need to make a New Year's solution to their motherfucking problems. Because if they don't figure it out this year, it is going to get exposed before they can get an answer. And ain't shit going to be able to be undone once this exposure is done. Because some shit going to be set straight, you know, from here on out after this year. Okay? It's, it's just period. Like... The most high God, the universe ain't giving nobody no more time to be sitting up here on demon time, you know, thinking they got time. You don't control shit. Don't know, but child, anyway. But somebody got a fake ass sister and a fake ass brother out here that's working with a karmic ex lover. They karmic lover that they possibly still dealing with or don't want to let them go because they don't care nothing about being in no third party here. They got with this person knowing that they had feelings for somebody else anyway. They knew this. It's like a family member even told somebody how they in this, how them and you, you and them, whoever this past person is to you, you know who they are. I don't, but it's a thing of somebody, family member knows how they seen it with their own eyes, how somebody feel about somebody. 
when they're around them. But it's like when they know this person around this other, this karmic lover, it's like, it's, it's like night and day. So... This card coming in to prove to you they want only you and that you can trust them. Okay, right in reverse. And it's not so much as this person, you know, got somebody plotting on them, but it's like, it's like somebody want to put somebody in a situation to where they tell this person, you know, the collective done moved on, like they got somebody like that. This person, um the moved on like they with somebody now especially if they know this person is wanting to come towards you to tell you how they feel or that they done clean they you know they plate like i'm done you know eating from this plate like i'm done being on the shit i was on And I feel like somebody trying to give this person a, a fake ass reason or a fake false narrative to go off of so that they don't do this. It's too many. Because I feel like even if somebody wanted to rush in in the past and, like, try to prove something to you, it was, it didn't work or it was not going to work. Because I felt like that person would not have been done, you know, actually tying up loose ends. Especially if they knew you walked away over something they didn't tell you about. Like, if you felt like intuitively you got the download, like, paid attention to the signs and, again, the assignment and realized this person was juggling you when it comes to how they spend their time, how they didn't utilize their time, you know, in our connection with you. It's like, well, if you ain't, you know, got time for this and I know somebody else is, you know, benefiting in some way if, you know, you losing, somebody else benefiting, even if it's them. Like somebody trying to get something out of that, being that way. You know, that's just principle. But I feel like somebody coming towards you to prove to you all they want is you. Like you can trust them. It's the thing of somebody knowing that they, this is what they doing, or it's like they don't want them to. It's like somebody trying to hold somebody back from doing it. Like trying to, you know. Like 
Like trying to get somebody like a false narrative. Like give them something to go off of that makes them, you know, not change, you know, their ways towards you, especially if they put you in a third party. Because if somebody, you know, feel like, um, well, yeah, you don't try to go back and get involved with them and I still, you know, like deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Like we can still fuck around. You know, I just need to get back with this person. It's like if somebody, you know, trying to come in and try to make you feel like it's just about you, like they know you're not going to believe it. And it's a possibility, you know, even if this person tried to do that, it got in the way of you trusting them that in what they were saying. Especially if this person, you know, did try to do that, like come back in and you know, do that, but you've seen through something. I feel like if somebody, you know, come at you any other kind of way, you're going to see through it. I don't give a damn how much plotting somebody do. Because I feel like now that somebody done found something of yours, it's like somebody want to go hard now when they come to accepting the fact that this person going to move towards somebody else, whether it's you or somebody they don't know altogether. Because I feel like you don't even know who this person is anyway. But they don't even really know you. They just know of you. Okay? But it's a thing of somebody wanting to mm -mm. Especially this third party want them to believe that all they want you know, uh, they want them to believe that all they want is them. You know, and they can trust them like, no. Because this person don't want to share you like that. But I feel like this is somebody that thought you would do this. Whoever this feminine is, somebody... Felt like, you know, you would be somebody that would do... I don't know. Somebody must think that you really fuck with this masculine like that. Like you will settle for something like this. But apparently it's just them. It's another thing of somebody knowing that if they're coming in to try to prove to you that it's only you and, you know, you can trust them. It's like somebody don't believe that you're going to believe that. I'm telling you. Because this person don't Even though they they know that that's how something is. But, you know, them trying to come in and prove it to you. They don't feel like you're going to believe them. You don't, you're still not going to trust them. And they could have tried this and thought, you know, that that would... But I'm not getting it. Like somebody wants to come in. Like somebody. They want to. If this person haven't. Because I'm, I'm not getting it. They have yet. But even if. You know. For some of you. It has already happened. And this person tried to rush in. And you know. Try to tell you that they are. They can. They want to prove this to you. They want you to trust them again. I feel like this person, deep down, feel like, you know, you don't believe that. Especially if somebody telling them to do that. Like, you ought to just, you know, do it this way. Like, mm -hmm. Next card, selective hearing. So 
somebody decides what they want to hear when they want to hear it. So if they didn't hear this person saying, you know, it's not going to be a third party. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, it's just going to be, you know, me moving on and, you know, with me and you got going on, that's, that's, the, that's over. That's a wrap. This was this, this ain't that. Whatever, however somebody, you know, is into something or tying up loose ends with somebody on however they was involved with this person. It's like somebody hear what they want to hear. Bits and pieces. Like, I remember we had a conversation about that, but I don't remember you saying that. Like, somebody got selected. Like, if you remember me saying that, then that's all I said when I was talking about that was that. Like, how did you, what did you hear? Like, something like that. But I feel like somebody going to pretend that they didn't understand something by way of what they heard, like, I don't remember you saying this, but I remember you saying that. Your energy is blocked. He said you're too private. Somebody can have blue eyes with dark hair. Ask him. Next card, Sincere Apology. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Use your discernment. In all things, use your discernment. Everybody don't have to get the discernment, but for those of us that do, it's important that you use it, especially your intuition. Don't get your intuition mixed up with your ego, okay? Because some people ego bigger than their damn bank account, and it don't even, you know, make a whole lot of heavenly sense, let alone earthly. But it's a thing of somebody actually knowing what it's going to take to fix something, but rather somebody pay attention to the things around them. Because I feel like something is not meant to come together. And both people got family or somebody got family. Somebody else got a karmic love. Like somebody got some people in their family or somebody in their family working with somebody that they trying to walk away from. And somebody or somebody and or somebody got family that's, you know, trying to keep something going so that you don't get the outcome that you're supposed to get. Like you don't get the fulfillment that's due to you, that's owed to you. And the way somebody working so goddamn hard at it, it's like it's, it's got to be around the damn corner. Because somebody's energy is blocked because they got some issues, you know, with 
the fact that somebody want them to, or they got somebody that want them to come in and say that they trying to, you know, just they only want you. Give me one more. Somebody in your energy is blocked because you got somebody that want to come back around to you. Like I said, somebody energy vampire, okay. But it's a thing of somebody wanting this person to come back around to you and kind of like pull from you by saying what they saying to get back in your good graces. Like, like just you know try to you know get back in good with them. And I feel like this is what somebody trying to do to a past person of yours. It's like they're trying to plot, you know, against you. It's like they're trying to plot on you. It's like either they're trying to get this person to do this towards you and still have a cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? And this could have been a past situation where somebody, family member got involved this way. And the way something played out, you know, did not work the way they thought. And it's like it made, it caused an ending, you know, damn near a permanent ending to something. And if this person come back around, it's got to be on truth and clarity. And this sincere apology is something... I'm not going to say it's long overdue, but it's something that I feel like somebody knows they owe it to you. You know what I'm saying? Whether you believe them or not. But I feel like it's somebody, you know, working with an ex-lover of theirs in this karmic cycle they were in that don't care nothing. Like, uh, like I said, they don't care nothing about being a third party. They don't. Start at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. She did the justice behind it. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, let's just start at the bottom of the deck. Who is this coming in with a sincere apology? Sincere apology. Clarify sincere apology. Got the Knight of Cups and the Hangman. Both in the upright. Libra Scorpio. Pisces Energy. Yeah, somebody got it. Whoever this Pisces is, got a new perspective on just life, like in general. Like somebody has a new turning over a new leaf. This was. They're going toward their higher self, okay? They're making better choices, you know, from a more realistic point of view, you know, especially when it comes to them, you know, going toward their calling or going toward their life purpose or, you know, caring about what that is now. We got the Knight of Cups, Libra, Scorpio Energy. And I feel like this is what somebody want to come in and, you know, prove to you that, you know, they've seen what they need to see now. Like, it may have taken them some time, but they, the romance or whatever they feel or their emotions is still intact. But I feel like somebody does not want them, you know, to have this with you of all people. You got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the child. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of fulfillment, you know, especially from the divine. I feel like, you know, the, the wind for all the things coming in, you know, it's just, it hadn't even really started. You know, I feel like what it was to come, because right behind this Ace of Cups is the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo Energy. Two of Cups behind that Cancer Energy. Child, I'm telling you. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment, but I feel like this is something that a third party wanted to, you know, partake in. Could be a um, Pisces. This hangman is in Pisces. And this Knight of Cups is Libra Scorpio energy. Person could be going through a spiritual awakening. Who this Pisces is? And it don't have to be a Pisces. It's the fact that somebody's, you know, looking at things from a higher perspective, like their higher self. Like somebody's maturing. You know, they're looking at things outside of, you know, people around them and how they would have normally handled something. How they normally would have seen something, their actions, you know, how something would have normally been, you know, that they responded to. Especially if this is how they looked at themselves in the past, like, you know... I was immature. I was, I did too much. You know, that was more than I should have done. Like, I should have known better. Clear for the Knight of Cups and the Hangman. Clear for the Knight of Cups and the Hangman. Knight of Cups and the Hangman. What's the Knight of Cups and the Hangman? Knight of 
close to the hand here. Eight of Cups, Pisces Energy. And this person could be very emotional at this time. Whoever this is with this sincere apology. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. This person they moving on, you know, to but this person could feel like they live whoever this is, they could live at a distance. Cause this person, um, whoever this is that it's coming in to apologize to you or, you know, give you the sincere apology. You know, they could be, you know, walking away from, you know, something that no longer serves their higher self. But I feel like this is something that they don't want to lose with you either. I feel like this person could leave behind somebody, you know, I feel like, feel like, you know, this person is abandoning them. Like they're going to have to let something go. This relationship is over. Or this is this person your person, you know what I'm saying, that feels like they may have to just let something be, especially if, you know, this sincere apology is not going to open the door for them, you know, like it's something they're going to have to prove, it's not going to be something they could just rush in and, you know, try to get you back, you know, behind that, you know, because of that, using that. And this person could feel like they thought they had enough time or they thought the emotion between, you know, you and them or whatever they felt between whatever the chemistry was like with you and this person. I feel like they want to know if it's still there, but it's a thing of somebody being emotional about how something ended and how something may never, you know, be the same either. Especially if they played their cards, you know, the way they did and, you know, messed over somebody that really genuinely wanted to be with them, you know, minus the games and the third party and shit like that. But I feel like, you know, that person thought what they thought, you know, at the time. And I feel like now they know if something don't come back full circle for them, you know, even after all this work, that whatever something is like now, it's their fault that it's this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, they made a bed, they got to lay in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they 
you know, giving you this sincere apology means they feel like you, you know, if they do this, you know, that it's going to open the door for them. It may not. You know, it's it's about you using your discernment, you know, in that way. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? The ball is in your court. And I feel like at this point, ain't nothing they can rush, you know, you to do. You know, it's if you want to take something slow, that's what they're going to have to accept. If they got to prove something to you, if it take a year, if it take two years, if they want you, that's what they got. That's that's the, the offer that's on the table. I feel like if this, this is what they want. But I feel like even if it ain't, you know, you're still able to move forward. But it's a thing if somebody don't, they don't like that you're private. It's like somebody don't know, you know, what's going on with you from one day to the next because you don't talk about it. You're not social, you're not a social media junkie like that. And I feel like you just don't let people in that don't need to be involved. You know what I'm saying? Keep people on the need to know. these days, hell, like I said, privacy is the best thing going, shit. Because people just always want to know what's going on with you, and, and it takes less focus. You know, it takes all the focus off themselves, and that's why they end up doing some type of dark magic or doing something to sabotage somebody else's happiness because they're jealous of it, envious of it, because they didn't work on themselves. Somebody's, you know, upset at the fact that, you know, a lot of folks out here making struggle look good, okay? Because they know how to, you know, with grace, get through their shit without bringing everybody down with them. Case that you're too private. That you're too private. Clarify this card. Who is this person? Case that you're too private. Knight of Wands, Cancer Leo Energy. Yeah. Could be a Cancer, could be a Leo. You could be a Cancer, they could be a Leo, or vice versa. You got the two of wands at the bottom of the day, Aries energy. And somebody could be like this, you know, when it comes to, you know, they hate that you are so private. They may not be, you know, against you being private. It's just a thing that you're too private because they can't find you. Um, your energy is blocked. So even if it comes to them, you know, wanting to, you know, try to read a situation or read you or get a reading or whatever the case may be, it's like somebody ain't able to get a, a solid, you know, answer on that. Like when it comes to something they can go off of like somebody you don't give somebody nothing really to go off of like you may have cut a lot of people off it's a lot of platforms you don't do much on whatever it is you do you limit what you do what you say how you say it and it don't leave this person with any clues as to what's going on with you you know where to find you things like that you know especially if it's them wanting to communicate you know to you especially if they trying to keep you know their moves Private they self, like silent. 
Because with this two of wands at the bottom of the deck, it's like somebody, you know, trying to make travel plans. Like this person could be, you know, looking at Yeah, somebody want to bring you the wand and they want to bring you, you know, they come in. I'm just telling you, shit. Like somebody taking action, you know. And it's also, you know, the, the fact that somebody, you know, is using what hope they got left. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know, them trying to reestablish things with you, rekindle things with you, you know, to start new. Because I keep saying, this person coming in with this one, I didn't take it action. I got a lot of passion now. You see the one. You see it? Okay. The one is here. Right here. <laughs> but they coming in to, they, they got a lot of passion. Like you ignite this person, but you also, you know, you put out their fire. What's the song? Um, it's an old school, so I can't think of it. Like, we like my fire. Something like, I can't think of it now, child. But yeah, this could be a cancer, it could be a Leo. Somebody could have cancer Leo placements. Somebody coming in with a lot of passion to, you know, give you this apology, but it's a thing of somebody, you know, telling you they it's a lot of ones out here. Do you hear me? Person, <laughs> person is very they are protective. You know, it's like somebody knows, you know, where they weren't. It's like somebody left they, st they post as a, a guard or something like that, a bodyguard or something. It's like somebody feel looking at you as like, I left my post, you know, for a while. I came back. Um, I just stepped away. I got distracted. And, you know, all this happened to my empress. Like, ain't no way I can let this happen. Like, I shouldn't have let this person, you know, walk away feeling this way or thinking this way, you know. And now it's taking me, everything in me to... What's that song by Drew Hill? How does it look like? These are the times we wish for. These are the times by Drew Hill. But yeah, you got the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. You got the ace of wands behind that. Sagittarius energy, Leo, Aries, King of Wands. I tell you, there's a lot of wands out here, child. A lot of ones, a lot of action. It's a lot of intuition. You know, somebody's, you know, building up to go towards, you know, they higher self. Like, this is somebody going towards they, they higher calling. And this could have been a, a twin flame that's now like a soulmate. But it's the thing of somebody having to get through things that them been an obstacle for them, whether you knew it or not, you know, this person, you know, actually had some things they needed to see and figure out. But I feel like this is something that they going to tell you about. You don't, you're not going to have to ask them about this. And this person, even if they wanted to make, They 
So even if somebody want to pretend they don't, they didn't hear something, they heard what this person said. Like if this person told somebody, like, listen, you know, this was just this, this is that. Mm -mm. Even if this person told you that, you know, all they wanted you, like, I'm satisfied with you or however, you know, they said that. But I feel like somebody told somebody something that now they're trying to act like they didn't understand or they heard this, but they didn't hear that. But that, it came out in um, reverse, but it's like, mm -mm. like in the past, somebody could have had selective hearing. You know, they heard what they wanted to hear, or this is you. But it's like a thing of somebody not, that's not something that's, you know, relevant right now. Like, that's not, somebody know what they heard. It wasn't a thing about selective hearing. Like somebody know how something was supposed to. They somebody knew how something was supposed to go or the way something was, the rules of the engagement. Like somebody knew how something was, but it was like now this person make it seem as though they don't remember bits and pieces of something that was already laid out for them. And this person in the past could have, you know, pretended to have or went along with having that selective hearing, like heard what they wanted to hear. Coming back in to prove to you they only want you and that you can trust them. Who is this person? Coming back in to prove to you they only want you and that you can trust them. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. In reverse, Leo energy. Whoever this is, with this temperance out here, somebody could be getting like some guidance, like spiritual guidance. Because when I saw this call for the come out in reverse, it's like somebody holding back. Or somebody like putting off doing this, you know, rushing in to do this. I feel like somebody wanted to come in and do this, but I feel like they wanted to rush and do it. And I feel like they getting some type of spiritual guidance or they being spiritually guided. Yeah, that's what this is. This person being spiritually guided to do this. So I feel like they feel like giving up because, you know, of how things ended up. Like, they feel like you're not going to 
if they come in with this sincere apology, like you're not gonna believe them. You know, you gonna like whatever image they done painted of themselves to you, like they feel like all this is their fault, you know, that they caused this to be the way it is between you and them. And this person stuck in the past, like, you know, especially when it comes to a third party, like somebody's stuck in the past when it comes to this person. And this person could feel, you know, defeated, like, at this point, like, giving up, like, they building confidence now, you know, outside of, you know, how something ended up. Like, this person could be building that confidence to do that, like, but it's causing, like, a procrastination, you know, with this person. Like this person, you know, could be lacking, you know, motivation. You know, especially if they look at you as somebody that's fulfillment. Like this is, you know, I feel like somebody feels depleted, you know, when it comes to your energy. Your energy is blocked from this person. And they feel exhausted, like they feel depleted. Like, you know, I feel like somebody may have had energy in the past to do what they were doing, but that's only because you hadn't called your energy back. But we're going to end it here. You guys, make sure you do something nice for someone today, even if you don't know them. A kind, an act of kindness won't kill you. I promise. If you that damn stingy, get, let me go, okay? Listen. Make sure you guys hit that like, that subscribe button on your way out. Do something nice for someone. Okay? It ain't gonna kill you. Make sure you guys are doing your return to senders. Doing your affirmations, you know, in whatever areas, you know, of your journey you need the healing. Make sure that you're adding some to those if you feel like you need to. My community board, you know, should have those affirmations for whatever areas you're needing the healing in on your spiritual journey, okay? Even if you're not on one, all right? Do make sure you're going within. This is a general reading, so thank you guys for being here. You know, this is Intuitive, Intuitive Tarot. So, if you're new to my channel, hopefully you come back. Definitely subscribe and like. And those of you that genuinely love me. Know that I love you too. Mwah.